of another show with you telling us about your journey in Islam as a Muslim. Okay. But tell us how that day came and you became a Muslim and you finally accepted Islam. Please. Okay, okay. Very quick. Um, one, one point for the, the marriage aspect of things is really quick. Um, you know, I think a big part of it is, 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 is having a sound heart. You know, like the Oman, we need to really look at our hearts. The Prophet said that the heart is, if the heart is sound, then the whole body will be sound. And a big disease in the heart is the... Um, the love of this world, materialism, and the love of money, and I think that's what leads to a lot of these issues in, in marriages, you know, in conversation and everything. But also those who have the education or have the adab, we need to go and have the patience to teach people. We, we might need to start going into those things. Well, we could conversate more about that, speak about this more another time, but, but yes, inshallah. I support what you said there again. You're totally right. Maybe you are so right that because of the love of that money, it makes people follow culture. <laughs> the love for all these materialistic things, they look into culture from that angle as opposed to Quran and Sunnah. That's a powerful point. Well said, well done. So tell us, how did they came and why you accepted Islam? So the, the, the way I accepted Islam, of, of course, after all my studies of uh, different religions and different beliefs and seeing the beauty in those religions and also the things I negated from those religions. Uh, Islam is the one religion, again, that really explains our who is our creator in a way that pleases him, in a way that doesn't take away from him or add to him. Um, and it's the one religion that's truly worshipping the, cr the the creator, Allah, the, the one that exists, that has no beginning, no end. He's one. He's transcendent, all-powerful. The one that sees and hears and speaks to us, who's closer to us than our juggle of vain, than life, than life itself. Mm -hmm, that's all merciful mm -hmm. and so much more. There's no time enough time to speak know, about it but I know, I know, that, I know. That, that 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 Allah is this is Islam the the, the one who comes with the, the last revelation so there's the Old Testament there's the New Testament the Quran is the final testament that comes to correct the corruption that humanity did to the the scripture of the past just how Jesus came to correct the the scripture that the the, the the corruption that was done to the scripture before in the in the scripture of Moses and the Torah the, the New Testament came to correct that. The, the, the Quran comes, the last testament, not the New Testament, the last testament comes to correct the corruption that humanity did to the, 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 the books of the past and the prophets of the past. Sure. And it, it, it comes with, with the last prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that, again, there's not enough time to speak about his I know. beauty. But, but tell me, where, where did you take the Shahada? Where in oh, South Florida? In, in, in um, IFSF, so in Salat Tawfiq. Oh, very good. Very. And how many years ago was that? So this was about four years ago. I was twenty-one. S Subhanallah. But that day, how 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 did it happen? And you decided I need to take shahada today or tomorrow. Cause we so, we're on so a countdown. Actually, two three minutes. We just got about two or three minutes to conclude. So so I was actually I knew Islam. I knew about Allah and I knew Islam. I had that certainty since two thousand fifteen, but. Um, I didn't take my shahada until about 2019 uh, because it, it, I had this mindset. First, I didn't know enough of the Prophet ﷺ. There still, was still some things I, I had to learn first. And also, it was like the ego, the nafs, getting right. in the way. All that, I that, want got, to that, that kept you away. That kept you. But what, but what I want to really get at, the day when you accepted Islam, yeah. how did you make that decision that day, that day? I think that's what our viewers want to hear right now. I want to get that point. How did I you just, end up yeah, there? I just, I mean, so I grew up with, with my, the, the, my neighbors, my friends that were Palestinian. I called them. They were always, they were always a source of guidance for me and healing and great friends and great character. Mm -hmm. That's a, a great way to how to do Dawah is their example of being good people. I called them one day and I was just like, oh, I want to take Shahada. Like, oh, really? And they took me. <laughs> oh, so that's what really happened. That, so Allah yeah. guided you. You were on the search. You just wanted to, and then you called them. And I, what I wanted to know, if someone took you, uh, ca yeah. carried you. But yes, but you called, and you asked, and you made the leeway to get there, and Allah made it happen, and you accepted it.